Hello students. So in this video we will solve question number 5 of May 2024 P3 paper. So let's get started. So in question number 5, uh, basically question number 5 is from functions and you can see part B it consists of uh, apart from differentiation. So you can see you can see or you can say that uh, this Question number five is mixed with differentiation and also functions. Okay, so let's see what they have asked in question number five. The functions, the functions f, f is a function and g is another function, are defined by f of x is two plus five ln x. Its domain is given x greater than zero, and g of x it is six x minus two over two x plus one. Its domain is also given as x greater than 1 over 3. Okay. So, at first, they ask in part A, find f inverse of 22. Okay. So, for finding f inverse, what we need to do at first? Okay. So, for finding f inverse 22, what we need to do? Do we need to find the inverse of f of x? Do you think we will need this for two marks? No, we don't need this. So what we can do? We need to use our concepts here. We know that f inverse, the domain of f inverse are the range of f of x. That means the value 22 they have substituted there. Okay, This is basically the range of f of x. So what we will do? we will equate f of x equals to 22 and we will find out the value of x okay let's do that I'll explain you more okay so for part a what we will equate this is the what 22 is the what range of f of x so we will put 2 plus 5 ln x equals to what ln x equals to 22 Okay, this is the range of f of x, as I said earlier. So now find out the value of x from there. So 5 ln x equals to, what, 20. Then what you will get, ln x equals to 20 over four, 5, this is what, 4. Okay, so x equals to what we will get? x equals to e to the power 4. So what does it mean? We equated what? the f of x equals to 22. Why? Because the domain of f inverse x are the range of f of x. So we equated f of x equals to 22 and we did find the value of x. Okay. So basically this is the same thing as substituting x equals to 22 into the equation of f inverse x. So the range of f inverse x will give you the domain of f of x. Okay, so basically we will use this concept to figure out the what value for f inverse 22. So we got f inverse 22 is what? So f inverse 22 it is what? It is equals to e to the power 4. That's the answer. That's it. Okay, for part b what they have asked use differentiation to prove that g the function g is an increasing function okay so we, we they have already said that we have to differentiate that so g of x is given as what g of x equals to what is given there uh, g of x is 6x minus 2 over 2x plus 1 6x minus 2 over 2x plus 1 so how can we differentiate this definitely you can see that there are two algebraic terms not terms algebraic expressions are in fraction so that means we need to differentiate it using what quotient rule so okay we will consider e equals to what 6x minus 2 and we will consider v equals to twice of x plus what 1 now differentiate both of them simultaneously side by side so what you will get 6 there and dv over dx would be just 2. Now we know that the formula for uh, quotient rule uh, g dash x the derivative of g 
it is what v times du over dx so 6 times 2x plus 1 this is what uh, 12x plus 6 minus u times dv over dx so negative 2 times 6x this is what negative 12x plus 4 just expanded the brackets over v squared 2x plus 1 what whole squared okay now uh, simplify the equation what you will get uh, 12x minus 12x cancels out what you will get 6 plus 4 this is 10 over 2x plus 1 what whole squared now you can see that if you see the derivative g of x g, uh, g dash x so this is basically always positive how do we understand see the denominator for all values of x 10 over 2x plus 1 whole squared is what is always positive hence we can say that g of x is a is an increasing function here what we can write here for all possible values of x okay the domain of g of x is given for all values of x greater than one third okay for all values of x values of x greater than one third the domain of g g dash x is what it's what it's always what greater than zero hence we can say what g of x is a is an increasing function it's an in increasing function g dash g of x is an increasing what function we can write okay so that's it that's the thing you need to show in part b done next part c in part c they have asked find g inverse we need to find out the inverse of g of x so for finding g uh, sorry for finding the inverse what we do actually at first we make x the subject right because we know that y equals to what y equals to g of x g of x so if y equals to g of x then what we can write x equals to g inverse what y that means from the equation y equals to g of x from the equation y equals to g of x we if we make x the subject and represent x in terms of y then we will get g inverse y we will get g inverse what y okay so let's do that we will make x the subject from this equation so we'll get 2xy plus y okay plus y equals to what 6x minus what 2 now what what's our aim our aim is to make x the subject so take all the terms with x on the same side and the terms with y on the other side what you will get negative 2 negative y on the right hand side okay now what we we have to do we have to take x common if you take x common you will get 2y minus 6 and then negative 2 negative y okay now make x the subject from there if you make x the subject what you will get negative 2 negative y over what 2y minus 6 uh, we can write this as multiply the negative in the bottom you will get y plus 2 in the denominator you will get 6 minus twice of y so we have represented x in terms of y so this is what this is g inverse y we got g inverse y which is y plus 2 over 6 minus twice of y now what we need we need g inverse x so for finding g inverse x what we need to do we will just put x in place of y so that is x plus 2 over 6 minus twice of x we are done with the inverse finding the inverse function
next is we are not finished yet we have to mention that domain keep in mind when you find any inverse function definitely mention the domain after finding the inverse function okay so what would be the domain we know that the range of g of x would be the domain of g inverse x so find it out like what would be the range of g of x if you get the range of g of x then that range would be the domain of g inverse x so since they said x greater than one third so at first put x equals to one third into the equation what you will get so at first take the equation in your calculator twice of x plus one so if you put one over three it gives zero it gives zero and uh, now since x greater than one third so take a take an infinite positive value 9999 nine, nine, something like that and see whether there is an asymptote yes the value of g of x it is converging it is getting to 3 yeah it is getting closer to 3 that means the maximum value of g of x is what 3 okay at 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 3 g of x has an asymptote that means the range of g of x is g of x greater than 0 but less than 3 so that means the domain of g inverse x would be what x greater than 0 okay less than 3 that would be the what the domain of g inverse x we are done with part c at last part d in part d what they have asked find the range of f of g we need to find out the range of what the composite function f of g okay this is for two marks okay so for finding the range of f of g at first figure out what we need to figure out g g has been substituted in place of f f of x g of x has been substituted in place of f of x so if you consider if you consider the range of g of x the range of g of x is what between 0 and what 3 the range of g of x is between 0 and 3 so within that range within that range of g of x we know that for the composite function f of g its domain is what its domain is the range of what g of x so that means for f of g the possible values for x are what x greater than 0 less than 3 because the output of g of x will be substituted in place of f of x so what are being what are the domains in this case the range of g of x so we got the range of g of x it is greater than 0 less than 3 so we got the domain of f of g now we need to find out the range so what would be the range of f of g within that interval figure it out x is greater than 0 so ln 0 is undefined we know that so if it is greater than 0 then and less than 3 okay so we got the value for f of x f of g of x so it will be greater than uh, it can be negative since it's 0 ln x you see there is ln x so since there is ln x so we know that logarithmic values can never intersect the y axis right so that means since it said x greater than 0 and you can see f of x is 2 plus 5 ln x so in that case the lower value of f of x is what the lower value of, of, of f of x is 2 in this case f of x can never be less than 2 the lowest value of f of x is what 2 okay so what would be the maximum value of f of x so what would be the upper limit for f of g the upper limit we got that what it is 3 so if you put x equals to 3 into this equation you will get, you will get 2 plus 5 ln 3 okay now 
basically we know that ln x ln x can have negative values so there's a problem because ln since ln x can be negative so the lower f of x might not have a lower value let's check it out wait so how can we check it out for part d we got the upper limit we can write the upper limited as the range of f of g the upper limit we got this is what less than 2 plus 5 ln 3 okay now what about the uh, lower limit okay 2 plus 5 ln x it was 2 plus 5 ln x okay so 2 plus 5 ln x so the value of x is what greater than 0 less than 3 so between 0 and 1 ln x is negative and this negative is what infinite and we know that in the graph of ln x in the graph of ln x the graph keeps going it intersects the x-axis at 1 and it keeps going downward downward like an asym asymptote right so that means it will keep going towards the negative y-axis infinite and that means there is no limit for what f of g the downward limit upward is 2 plus 5 ln 3 but there would be no downward limit okay so the range of f of g is just its maximum value can be 2 plus 5 ln 3 that's it so that's all about question number 5 from May 2024 P3 paper